before i start the video uh, just wanted to let you know that black friday sales are on and you can purchase hosting from the link in the description below link will provide the best discount on top of that we provide the goodies as well so for that our email is being present over there these goodies are in the form of premium themes and plugins and you can drop us an email with your invoice and we will provide all those goodies to you all okay so let's start the video are your google rankings dropping significantly are you worried that your site might not rank after these updates there are a lot of things happening in the seo world and most of the site owners are having a lot of complaints on how i can check the website ranking and what should be the steps to recover it so today in this video i will share 13 steps which you can follow easily and check whether your ranking has actually dropped and if it has dropped then what you can do it to recover it so they are very simple steps and you can follow it easily i will show you everything on screen and it is, will be a practical guide for you all so please do watch the video till the end hello everyone my name is gagan i have been doing blogging for past 10 years and i do share such tips and tricks in this channel so please do subscribe the channel and do like the video as as it motivates me in creating such wonderful content for you all step number one what is step number one step number one is first of all don't panic google rankings do change serp results do change there are a lot of updates that do happen now the first and the basic step is check whether your ranking has actually dropped or not how to check it so let's jump onto the screen and you can see this is one of our website which contains all the seo related information now you can see the last three months data so everything is consistent now there is a sudden drop now i know what's the reason there is a festive season going around in the indian market that is why the search has dropped on this day so I, I i know the reason so i won't be worried about it so that's how you have to make sure you are aware why there is a drop you can see there will be a ups and downs all over the time all over the day one day doesn't mean it's a drop what you need to make sure is last three months data is it increasing or decreasing that is where you know so i know it is increasing impressions are increasing clicks may not be increasing so that means my average position might be dropping so that's the average position filter you can check it time to time and you can compare it as well so how you can compare it click on this you will see compare and you can see compare three months previous data and if you apply now you can see what my past three months was and what my current three month is so i know my impressions have increased my clicks might have decreased that means my average position might have dropped however the average position looks good it's it's not a massive change and i can figure it out easily how these things work so that's a very good option you have to go to google search console and you can check uh, whether your actually rankings have dropped or not now in case you find that there is a significant drop in your ranking so if i com compare last seven days data and if i have to figure it out okay something has dropped or not to figure it out what you need to do is basically you need to list down all your search queries so you will see all the queries in the in your search console so basically search console is your uh, is your bible for uh, seo and you should know how to use the search console and if you don't know how to use a search console do comment and i will make a full detailed course on how you can check your data in google search console now if you see the queries you will see last seven days data previous seven days data and what's the difference impression difference so this way you will understand okay some keywords have dropped some keywords have improving their positions now what you exactly need to do is you need to extract this data import it to an excel try to figure it out a way where you can cluster it or group it together which page might have seen a significant drop so this is the step number two if you see a drop or even increase as well you will know okay these keywords have improved so basically step number two is you need to scope the ranking drop impact you cannot go randomly okay my overall site has dropped so that's your step number two step number three is check whether you have made any changes to your website so make sure any changes you make it are recorded you make an excel sheet in that excel sheet you record any updates any changes you make to the website do correlate the data from the day you might have changed the things might not look that ugly but maybe in a week's time if something happens dramatically then you can make sure you are aware of all those changes in your 
website and can correlate to it. Do make sure your site is crawled. So how to check whether your site is crawled is you need to use Google search operator. One of the search operator is site colon, site colon the website URL, press enter and you will see whether your site is crawled or not. So you will see all the pages, whatever important pages are there, all the posts that are there, you will see all these in the with this operator. So you can use this operator to check whether all your pages are indexed. You can also check the page crawling and indexing in your search console. How to do it is in your search console, go to pages. You will see not indexed index. Now you may say, okay, your 833 pages are not indexed, but that is how I have configured my website. So I don't want these pages to be indexed. And that is why they are not indexed because they are redirected. There are canonical, there are no index tags I have put in. Some of them are not found and some are crawled but not indexed which is what i i already wanted it so so whatever pages i wanted to be indexed are indexed in case your page is not indexed you can inspect the url by putting it over here so if i put my one of the my urls you will see search console says url is on google so it will give you all the data so that is how you can check the technical bits around your website any changes or any pages not indexed can be checked using the google search operator or you can put the URL into the Google search console. It's a bit technical where you might have to check your log files for any errors that are happening. These are technical issues. It could be your robot.txt not configured. So how to check your robot.txt is you can go to your website. You will have certain plugins in place which you can uh, monitor it. So I, if I have a rank math, I will use rank math robot.txt to see if there is anything unusual that I have created. Over here, go to general settings. In the general settings, you will see robot.txt. If it is how it should look like, then that's fine. Make sure your .hta access is also fine. Correct in terms of uh, details. Your sitemap settings are correct. So these are some of the technical bits that you must check whether everything is correctly set or not. Step five is Google algorithm updates. Now, best way to identify if there is any update that has update that has impacted your ranking is to subscribe to my channel because I do publish whenever there is a Google algorithm. You can see in my YouTube channel on the screen, I have provided November update, I have provided October update, I have provided the helpful content update and there are a lot of details around how you can, uh, how you can avoid your websites being impacted or for all those updates. So yeah, step number five, follow my channel and check out any updates are there or not. All the details are present in these videos. You can check how to identify if these updates would have impacted your website. Step number six is to check Google SERP updates. Now you may say algorithm update you have talked about. What is SERP update? So what happens, Google algorithm or core updates happens which Google notifies us, but there are a lot of updates that do happen in the background of Google, which you might not know. What is SERP? It is search engine result. Okay. Now what can happen if you see in the screen, if I type Google and if I type a word, say size of a double bed. Okay. Now you may see the result is a bit different. Maybe about a feature snippet is given. People also ask is there and then the actual results might come in. Now it could be the view can change on top you may see what is the size exactly from one website but if you say if you type size of a surf then you can see images are coming in these changes that happens in the way the search results are being displayed in google are called surf updates and they do happen time to time and they are not notified you might have to figure it out okay google has now put in a new snippet called images google has uh maybe moved people also ask up up from the search ranking so you can think this is one this is two this is three and you are actually four however medium.com might be two as part of search but people may not go till there to click here so that means your position has decreased or kind of the SERP update has happened which might have decreased the ctr for it however the search position might still remain the same so this is called SERP update and to track it is by observing your keywords which have a drop, manually checking it, 
checking whether they are correctly displayed or not or google has updated it so that's the only way there might be certain tools who may say your position drop but that might not be the right step seven is disavowed backlinks now again i will go to search console what happens you may have heard about disavowed backlinks it, it is very crucial topic backlinks i have already made a video around what is backlink it is like playing with your fire but if you try to disavow certain backlinks then there might be a negative impact to your seo so it's not mandatory to disavow any backlinks google do understand spammy backlinks and it do and removes it automatically but if you still remove your dis if you still disavow backlinks then do make sure to check that file and make sure all the details are correct in that file and there are no certain backlinks which were required and you might have unfortunately removed it so that is step number seven to make sure all the backlinks checks from a disavowed file is done step eight is google manual actions so do go to your search console and if you see in the security and manual actions click on manual actions if you see any actions over there that could be the reason that your website has dropped if you see a green signal with a tick no issues found detected then you are all good so make sure to check this consistently in case you see a uh, drop and make sure your google search console is updated step nine is to check whether there are any security issues so again and uh, security and manual actions you will see security issues again green sign is good and do make sure your website is not getting hacked all those issues might come here there are ddos attacks that are happening 2023 is one of the year where highest ddos attack happened and you have to make sure like your site is secured there are certain plugins which can be used in a wordpress website to secure web secure it if you want to know full details around the wordpress uh, plugins for security then do comment in the section below and i will create a dedicated video on what all plugins are present and which can be used to have those security in your wordpress website step number 10 is changes in the search intent and behavior so google do update their uh, way how they treat the uh, keywords so what you need to check is one of the examples to give in is if you search birds of prey now it can have multiple meanings okay google has to understand what is the intent of my search now the query intention might be it is a movie so bird of prey is a movie that could be the reason or bird of prey you are looking for is actually the bird who can pray so see google has provided the results but sometimes this result may go on the top and wikipedia or other links may go down based on the intent or based on your history or uh, how your uh, search behavior looks like so that is where you might see some rankings up and down and these do change from time to time like covid has a different impact on the search results after covid now the search intent and uh, other details are changing you can you have to figure it out whether your keyword is having the right intent and if it is having it then you have to make sure you understand that these changes might have changed the search rank step 11 make sure you analyze or watch your competitors because competitors because competitors might be doing some bits which you might not be aware of so make sure you are on top of competitor analysis you can use the tools like semrush ahref to have the competitor analysis or you have to manually check their search rankings if it has improved and do understand their link profiles as well so in case they might have used a 301 redirect to have that backlink profiles to their uh, home website so that is a new way to increase the domain authority and most of the tools might not know whether there is a new domain that is pointing to the main sub main domain which has increased the ranking so your yeah, backlink profile will be the judge however you have to make sure whether they have captured any feature snippet if they have captured it what's the reason for it whether they have a better content whether they have, have, have a whether their page speed is faster they have made say, any ui changes so those sort of an aspects you have to check to make sure your rankings are intact step 12 lost backlinks backlinks are the key and if you go to your search console you can check your backlinks easily in the search console it displays the backlinks however the tools also given but be aware the tools are not google 
Google will know the exact link. So in the in the search console, you will see the link section. So in the search console, you will see the link section where you can check the backlinks, external links, internal links as well. Step number 13, which is very rare, it is whether you have accidentally removed your URL from search. Now, how to do it? Again, search console, go to the search console. Over there, you will see a tab called removal. Now, this removal tab is basically to remove a URL from a search result. So make sure you do check it and uh, if, if you have mistakenly submitted the URL then that means the URL is not the you have requested the Google to not index this URL or remove this URL from the list. Now if you have removed or someone in your team has removed the URL then the only option is to request it again to be crawled otherwise if it is not crawled maybe redirect the page to a newer page and create a new content around it. So that's the only way to uh, bypass this. Uh, these are the 13 steps that I have shared and uh, this will help you in recovering your ranking. And if you can see, it's the Google Search Console that is that is the key. You need to understand Google Search Console. And if you have watched the video till here, then please do like the video and do subscribe the channel as it helps me in creating such motivating content for you all. Thank you very much.